Okay, so we just finished drawing cells. Now I also said earlier that we can draw cell arrays and we can order arrays of these cells uh, much more nicely than we have. And so next, let's draw a cell three. So we're gonna go to right click, up at displayed cell, go to new cell. Again, it zooms out on you so we can zoom in a little bit. Now to draw the cell array, I'm gonna use the hotkey A as an alpha. So it's A. Now this time it looks a little bit different. This time we have two cells to choose from, whereas previously we only had one cell. And I can also specify the number of units in X, the number of units in Y, and there's also two types of cell arrays that we can draw. The default here is the orthogonal array. That's what we'll use. But the hexagonal array can be helpful sometimes because it basically just puts two arrays within the same array. But for now, let's just keep it to the orthogonal array. So I'm going to do three units in X and four units in Y. And then let's pick cell one. Cell two is going to get pretty messy. So let's pick cell one and hit OK. All right, so I pick cell one, hit OK, and now I can click and click. And I've got my cell array. I can hit Escape. All right, so once you have your cell array drawn, uh, we sort of just freehanded this. And like we did with the box, if we want to specify something, such as the pitch or number of units and so on, we can do so through their properties. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I did was I hit escape to select edit, left click to select the cell array, right click and go to properties. Okay, so in the properties, we can pick a lot of these different things, right? We could, we could change the cell if we wanted to, say if our design gets really big or something and we have lots of cells, we could do that. We can change the origin, we can change where it's placed, we can change the pitch and X, the pitch and Y, uh, we can change the number of units in X, the number of units in Y. There's also this sort of odd kind of Y component of step X and, y comp and X component of step Y. Those will basically distort the array and I encourage you to try experimenting with them a little bit before moving on to the next video. But I'm going to go ahead and change my step X here to something like that. And you can see that it uh, it added that much to my cell array. I'm going to add a little bit more in Y. It expanded Y. And so please feel free to go ahead and just experiment with this a little bit. Oh, and also don't forget to name your cells. So I'm going to name this cell 3.